I'm, I'm flipping through magazines in the penitentiary, my nigga. I'm flipping through the magazines and I see these niggas. I'm like, nigga, that's that Oh, that's bro now. You, you, um, you gotta do other shit besides the music because they'll get bored with the music. They'll get bored with the videos. So they want to see you doing the Euro step on some shit. They, they want to see a nigga doing, spending some money, buying something. Sean said he wanted a rematch, yeah, that's though. What I thought. Sean did say he wanted a rematch. We might be running that back in Houston, me and Sean. That's what people are coming to being characters at. That's what the, 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 for the rap get fake at like that's what a lot of people be like ah oh, them rappers they act like rappers and shit because them rap is really being characters sometimes and guess what floyd said to them when we he kept saying they ain't got no mouthpiece he found me and said hey hey, hey did you have a mouthpiece when you these true stories i'm telling you my i ain't lying my name all right man we are back again we got sauce winning in, in the, the house man sauce winning in the house i'm in the building tonight i'm out here okay see fuck with the guys man Yes, sir. What's going on? How's the? Uh, I know you're on a little Midwest run right now through all the smaller cities. How, how's the the tour going? Man, we kicked it off in um, Tulsa, bro. Tulsa was lit last night, bro. Bunch of support, bunch of love. You know what I'm saying? Bunch of interaction with the fans, bunch of everything. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to DJ Three. That boy showed me major love. He opened up a door, you know, and they rocking with me. So the coalition DJs for sure. Shout out to them. Uh, that's how we kick down the door and toast, and it's just been a bunch of little motion ever since. You feel me? A lot of love, little uh, dispensaries we've been passing through, little shops, little this and that. You know, just fucking with the people. For sure, that's touching the saying. touching o the Oklahoma, land. You can, you can run into some weed. Yeah, sure. you gonna run into a bunch of that good dope. You know what I'm saying? Sure. I'm just touching the land, though. You feel For me? For sure. What do you think? I mean, you know, as somebody that's kind of been everywhere, about you know kind of going on like a, like I said, you're on kind of like a smaller market run right mm -hmm. now. The, what do you think about, you know, Oklahoma City, Tulsa? Um, will you go to KC too? Yeah, I'm on the way to KC, but okay, so I done been through Oklahoma before, and but I, the, the this time I'm back through Oklahoma on my own two feet, it's, it's like, uh, I can really see. I can really see the market. I can see the scene. I can see the rappers over here. I can see everything. I can see who trying to pie, who making it, who finna go there, who, who views getting looked at the most. You feel me? I can see that when I go to the crowds and touch bases with certain people. I, okay, he got his shit up. Okay, I can do so. I can work with him because he already, you know, it's going to help both of us if I help with him because right. his market is already following behind him as it is. I can help boost that up and that'll help them come look at me. So I'm doing all this same shit at the same time as I pass through right now. You feel me? Okay, for sure. So obviously this is the first time we sat down. So I kind of want to go back, you know, and most a, doubt, most a little doubt. bit into, you know, your upbringing. You're from South Side of Houston, right? Yeah, I'm from the South Side. I'm from Dead End. Okay, yeah. and that's kind of, you know, there's a lot of legends that came out of that area. That's a, that's like a pioneered yeah. area. You feel me? Like so we got Fat Pat, How, you know what I'm saying? Screw. Like the SUC really is pioneered out of my neighborhood, for real. Okay. So I mean just, you know, growing up, what was what was it like? Were you into music at a young age? I mean You know, I'm from Houston, bro, so like uh Niggas in Houston I always grew up freestyling. Like anything, anything, everything, niggas just gonna freestyle. I just yeah, just I didn't came down with the wood on my hand. And then, you know what I'm saying? That's exactly just the H time yeah. shit, you feel me? So that was always in me. But as real rapping and nah, I ain't I ain't think I'd be taking it as serious as I am today, you feel me? For sure. Yeah. So um but you kinda grew up with, with Walk and um, Mm hmm Walk, Sancho. Uh -huh. Yeah, them fam bros from way from the mud. Me and Sancho really was a group before me and Walk before him and Walk was. It was me and Sancho. Way yeah, it was way back. That's throwback history. Like that's some drip that hey, that's some good power drip right there. Me and Sancho was actually a group before me and, before Sancho and South Walk. Okay, was so that was before you, you had to go sit down. That was before I had to go sit down. So yeah. How old were you when when that happened? I was probably about me and Sancho was trying to do that, probably we was about fourteen, fifteen. You feel me? For fourteen, fifteen. I'm 14, 15. Okay, so you're the original Sauce Twin, that's what you're telling me. Yeah, I'm original. I'm very original Sauce Twin, for sure. <laughs> okay, for sure, for sure. Yeah. So you, uh, you played sports growing up? Or I mean, yeah, I played, played football, basketball, and baseball. I really was a baseball star for real, but, you know, I fell into... Uh, bro, actually, look, this is how I fell out of sports. This is a true story. When I was in high school, I got to high school. The coach, they, they coached on the um, football team and shit. I had got away from basketball, but I was still trying to play football and, and baseball. But the coach that, that, that did the uh, football and baseball team, he did the same shit. 
he didn't want me on the team, bro. And that just shattered my like dreams of sports. I start skipping school and shit, leaving. That's the real story. So okay. I was just like, fuck sports. He didn't like, want you shit. on the team for because my behavior throughout the school. You feel me? Like, but I wasn't getting. It. I, if you, this is gonna keep me straight. This is gonna make me want to play in the game. This is gonna make me want to play Thursday. We got a game Thursday. All right, I gotta know. I gotta. Yeah, you know, my shit this week. Easy. I gotta be all the way right this week. This is gonna, gonna motivate me to wanna do right. You know what I'm saying? They took a part of me out of that. For sure. I, I expected you to say you played uh, basketball a little more. I know you, you got the Euro step, uh, Euro step <laughs> king. I you... Nah, I played a lot of basketball in my life, though. I, I grew up with basketball. That's really like uh, today is a primary sport for me, but back then, growing up, I had got away from basketball because niggas got tall. I ain't get tall. I ain't, you see, I'm a short nigga. Niggas got tall and shit. I ain't get tall. And that shit just took me away from basketball. But I still play baseball and football and shit. That's why I was excelling with my speed and shit. Okay. So where'd the, uh, where'd the Eurostep thing come from? The Eurostep came from, okay, let me get y'all some game. Anytime, like, you know how niggas be uh, making little moves on niggas, like, like anytime you do a little fly finesse on a nigga, it's a euro step. It's like, oh, I euro step that boy. Or even even when a female trying you, any even when anybody trying you, but it's not a try as in anything violent, anything, anything about anything. She trying you like, oh, she tried to ask me for some bread, bro. She oh, she tried to give me for fifty. I told her I had to shoot it through. Ooh, I had to. Ooh, I'm a cash up and later I euro stepped it. Ooh, had to get by that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't doing it. Like whatever. Like. That's where the Euro step came from. And then I just started doing it just to be like, oh, I'm a Euro step, a nigga. Anything a nigga try on me, I'm a, I, watch out. You can't get me. Like, so that's where the Euro step came from. So I ran with it. Okay, for sure. So quit playing sports, what you say, about 14, 15? Yeah. And that's when Dude, outside? Hanging out, yep, outside. <laughs> all the way outside. It ain't, yeah, I'm outside. I'm across the street at the block party. I'm over there. School just starting to. School starting okay when I um when I had when when I had turned seventeen I was still sixteen trying to go to school seventeen I turned seventeen I was still trying to go to school but I had already caught my case and bonded out but I ain't see the teachers like the teachers no more I just seen them niggas like men like me because the prison jail did it to me like so it's not like nigga nigga man like me nigga I ain't worried about what you talking about. And I ain't respected as a authority level at no more as a he grown, he over me. And that shit just I at seventeen I was done with school, bro. Okay, so you you caught the case at seventeen. Yeah. And then you ended up going to sit down at eighteen? Yep. Okay. Yep. And did what? Eight? Nine. Nine. Did nine. To okay. the head. Eight. Got out two thousand I went in there two thousand nine, got out two thousand eighteen. Nine at eighteen is yeah. is tough. Yeah, that's real. I've been out since two thousand eighteen. Yeah, for sure. March. I mean, what was that that experience like? I mean, obviously you came out and you know had a game plan, had, had your shit together, but everybody doesn't do that. Man, I I, I knew I didn't want to go back. So I, and the whole time I'm in there, I knew I wasn't supposed to be in there. I knew I had made a terrible decision and a mistake that that just altered this time of my life. So I knew like what I had did. I knew I wasn't supposed to be here, but I knew what I did put me here. And I'm like, I never make that mistake again, bro. I can't do that shit. I gotta use different kind of influence. I always been influential, so my I gotta use my influence. I always been popular, so I'm thinking. And there, I'm thinking like, damn, I'm popular enough, bro, that my hood fuck with me enough that nigga, if I rap, they should be behind me, like or some on some other shit, like push icey, man, like on some shit, feel me? That's how I'm looking at it. So I came out and put it out like that, feel me? And it worked. Okay, for sure. So when when you're inside, are you kind of aware of? I mean, cause. That time is, you know, walking. They started going crazy. Like I ain't 15, aware of no 16. sauce. Okay. I don't know nothing about. It. They doing it. Yeah. They doing it, and uh, like, okay, so I'm, I did time, so I'm doing years at a time. So where I'm at, a lot of niggas ain't just pulling up every day on some fresh shot the world shit. Everybody that's where we at, they been here for some years, years. So niggas that's coming fresh out the world, they coming every. We ain't seeing them like that, but when they do. They telling niggas about that's when we start hearing sauce. You know, you don't know sauce. They from your hood. They, 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 they. I'm like, nah, nigga, I don't know nothing about none of that. They telling me about Sancho. No, nah, nigga, Sancho, my bro. Like, yeah. he's my bro. We real. You know what I'm saying? And I don't. Know. I'm like, nah. So you you just didn't know the rap names. I ain't know the rap names, bro. You feel me? I'm I'm flipping through magazines in the penitentiary, my nigga. I'm flipping through the magazines and I see these niggas. I'm like, nigga, that's a brother. Oh, nigga, that's bro now. Automatically, bro, in there, 
you lying. You got to be able to prove that shit better than just, you know what I'm saying? So niggas ain't even understand what I was looking at. Like, I'm like, nigga, I'm finna go out and be with that when I get out. You know, woo, woo. I'm going home to that. And I did. They wasn't believing me, bro, and I did. Okay, so when you see that, or when you're in there, are you thinking rap, or did it take that to... And I started thinking rap like 2016, 17, like I'm almost finna go home. And I'm thinking popularity. I'm like, man, I'm gonna get out. It's gonna be lit when I get out. Cause I've been gone a minute. And it's like wood bag, like the hood bag, like niggas gonna fuck with me. And so all of this is, I'm feeling like gonna be my ammo to to pursue the rap shit, to pursue any kind of promotion, to pursue anything that got to do with being in the mix. Because my name and face been in the mix all my life. So I know that I can transition that to the music. That's how I'm thinking. That's what I want to do. You feel me? But it worked. I did it. Yeah, it worked quick too. I did. I mean, you said you got out 2019? 2018. 2018. And then so what about a year later? A year later first, it was up. It yeah. was up. I didn't get an M on you. I didn't hit an M on YouTube a year and a half later. I'm an M on YouTube, you feel me? Yeah, I mean I think it's almost two now, but I Yeah, mean, yeah, it's almost two M on YouTube for sure. What what does that feel like? Cause I mean, you know, everybody gets out of jail, they got these crazy plans, I'm gonna do this, this, and this, but when it's it's actually working. Um Bro, uh, I, I, I honestly, uh, I, I, I know I'm an inspiring person because I see the reactions that I get from the people who I was around before. And I see the reaction of people who never could even see me doing nothing like this because they felt like I was a terrible guy. Or I was just bad. I was just like, bro, I bro, came, man. But I was always unique and different. Niggas always knew, bro, bad, all this shit, but he kind of different. He always been smart. He always shit like this. Like, bro, bad, bro. That nigga just be in some shit all the time. So niggas ain't thinking, oh, bro, gonna be able to take a different transition coming out of prison. You feel me? Niggas, I'm a type of nigga, they probably thought they'd see me locked up forever or somebody done something to me or some shit like that. But when they see me, bro, the reaction be like, damn, bro. I'm, it be real. I'm proud of you for real, bro. For real, bro. Give me a hug, bro. Yo, 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 sister, them. Yeah, like, damn, bro. You looking real good too, bro. Stay, damn, bro. You, I'm t I be watching you on the ground. Like, like this, this be real life. You yeah. feel me? And a lot of people ain't never, they still ain't seen me. I've been on the grind so hard. This real life. Since I've been doing this shit, I've been on the grind so hard. People ain't even got a chance to see me for real. Like, and so when they still see me, it still be a shock. But they see me on Instagram, YouTube, videos, all this other shit. But it still be a shock when they get to capture me up close and personal. And they like, damn, this my boy. Like, damn, bitch, you came home, and, bitch. You shot out, man. You ain't worse than I. Like, it's be happening to me, you yeah. feel me? So I be feeling the inspiration. I be seeing the people that I'm motivating doing this shit. And that, that's what make me, you know what I'm saying? Keep grinding for it. For sure. Was that, for real, I, for real, I spill, was that the first moment where you're like, okay, this is going to work? That was my introduction to let me know I got to keep doing this shit. Uh -huh. I seen how they, okay, so everybody that try to rap, this shit don't work for everybody, bro. That verse I put on that, like the introduction verse, to the world was the for real life spill verse. In the introduction verse that they heard, it was like, we fuck with this nigga. <laughs> I don't know that black nigga yet. We fuck with him, bro. That nigga talking that shit. Bring him back. Yeah, we fuck with bro. Hey, now when they see him, hey, oh yeah, you the one that, yeah, that's for real life spill. Oh yeah, just real fast, you scared it. Why you went out? I'm the nigga for that. So I started getting famous off of, that's how I, got popping, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I got in the mix like that for real. I for, the, for real, I spit the introduction. And that verse just made everybody like, oh yeah, we fuck with bro. If they didn't know, they started looking at me. And then they started looking at me to see if they want to fuck with me or not. Hey, yo, we fuck with him. I fuck with him. I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't gotta get on some more of that boy. Oh, 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 he really liked it. Okay, I'm fucking with all his shit, you feel me? That's how that happened for me. For sure. So you said something a, a few minutes ago that I think is is important. That you know you always been popular. People always been drawn to you, right. regardless of you know the music, or whatever. I mean, just kind of talk about that. From you know, a lot of people want to be rappers that they wasn't cool. Yeah, you ain't never been. You, know what you mean? see what I'm saying? Like, okay, so that's what people are coming to being characters. At that's what the the, the for the rap shit get fake at. Like that's what a lot of people be like. Ah. Oh, them niggas rappers, they act like rappers and shit because them rap niggas really be in character sometimes because niggas can't go back and say, 
Oh yeah, in high school, bro. Yeah, baby, we used to be hanging out by the nigga. That boy, we used to be hanging. Hey, a nigga can speak on a story for me all over the city of Southside from high school on down. I was running around there. I was down here. I fuck with bro and I'm over here. I, like, it was like that. Like, nigga, we was unified. Like, I'm everywhere in the streets. This high school, we fuck with these niggas at this high school. We going up there this weekend. We gonna link and go over here. Ooh, like, we was doing shit like that, bro. And like, that's what kept a nigga like, that was some early promotions. That, I was an early promoter. Before I knew what to promote this shit, like, I was already in the mix of blending doing shit like that. I'm my partner. Yeah. From hood to hood. For sure. But, I mean, even, like, it, on from the outside looking in, somebody that doesn't get it, I mean, the whole TSF, y'all are so, you know, animated and young. That, but, I mean, this is some Houston shit. Like, right, you know, right, you right, right. It, but um, why do you feel like y'all are able to, you know, connect with people even, you know? Um, Because we came from where they came from, for real. We really come from where they came from. And then we really out here and they really like, damn, I just seen bro. With, with 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 Kanye West and that nigga right here talking right. to me, shaking my hand, man, my fuck with, like, man, I just seen bro with Jay Z, I just seen bro, and I know, I know, where you just, with? and then they get to see a nigga they don't see everybody like that, and then they see other people and they probably stand office with them like treating them like, but they see nigga like the South, anybody in our crew be like, oh what's up niggas, love what's up, let's take a peek, let's just, oh yeah, let me shout your shit out then, let me wear your brand, let me see. Yeah, I'm supporting your shit. You support my yo, who you fuck with my Oh yeah, yeah, you you on. I fuck with you. You know what you're talking about. You ain't lying, you feel me? So them be the interactions in public that make a nigga know that he doing it the right way. Fact. They get to touch a nigga. They ain't never get to touch money bag, yo. They ain't never got to touch motherfucking me, uh little baby. They get to touch us, they get to see us for real. They really like get to be a part, they feel like they're a part of the movement when we come around. So it's like, ah, oh, yeah, I fuck with them niggas. I feel like I'm them. I feel like I'm in they crew. Them niggas treated me like that. They ain't even do no weird shit. They was all G all the way across the board. Nigga gave me some weed, we smoked, we talked shit. Them niggas told jokes. I told them niggas about that funny shit I did. It was all cool and love. So they be feeling like they're a part of the group and they be a main part of keeping us going too. And that's, that's real too. I don't know if you came down here in 2021, but <clears throat> A bunch of the, the crew came down here and we was just we was kicking it on, you know. That's real. Outside. Like, That's real, bro. Yeah, you can, yeah, you can get with them boys. You can get with the crew and nigga, you solid. Yeah. Niggas going to fuck with you because hey, niggas don't really accept people. We be on some us shit because other shit get weird. But when we come around people and they be, oh, yeah, it's love. Oh, yeah, we fuck with him. Oh, yeah, come on. It's love. You in, nigga. Yeah. It's, it ain't nothing nobody else going to say. Yeah, come on. Where you going? Oh, nah, nah, he with us. Nah, nah, he with us. Yeah, he's sauce. Yeah. yeah ain't nothing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how they go. And so the other thing I think that, um, you know, all y'all, but you as well do a good job of is not just, you know, rapping. You know, right. not just putting out songs and going to shows, you know, the social media and doing other shit. Obviously, you know, I want to get into the box and stuff, but um, just kind of talk about why you feel like that's important to, you know, do other shit besides the music. You, you, um, you got to do other shit besides the music because they'll get bored with the music. They'll get bored with the videos, so nigga, they want to see you doing the Euro step on some shit. They, they want to see a nigga do, spending some money, buying something. They want to see a nigga telling a joke. They want to see a nigga that wasted something on this brand new shit. Like, oh, I just fucked out this brand. They want to see you living normal life. They want to see you doing shit that they didn't did today, yesterday. Man, I just did the same. I, mean, I, I just did the same shit, bro. Funny. I fuck. They want to see relatable shit. Yeah. The music will bore them out. The post, the videos, they, that's cool, but they want to see the life. They want to see how you living. They want to see what you're doing, how you roll your blunt, how fat you roll, how much weed you putting in it. They want to see this. They want to see how you put your shit out. They want to see anything with you. So me being the type of person that be opening the doors to be active on that type of shit, to be active in showing whatever I'm doing, showing my life, showing different shit, they like that. They keep them looking, they keep them wanting to know. They keep them asking me questions when they see me in public. Hey, when you did that, what you call it, bro, that was who? They do this shit to me, you feel me? So, like, that's what do like it. Like you said, they feel like they know you. They feel like they know me, that's what make it go. For sure. They feel a, a connection between the relations between off of your life and the shit that you did. You did some shit that they did in their life or they seen their brother do, so they related to it. They like, oh yeah, that's real. That's real. I know he ain't capping about that shit, cause I just done it. I just did it. Man, he not capping, bro. That shit happens for real. They it, it get related when it's true, so they like, yeah, I fuck with it. 
Facts, facts. So one of those things, like I said, I wanted to talk about the uh, the Sean Cotton fight. Right? Yeah. So take me through, because I know he, he was calling out a couple nigga people. nigga Sean, man. Just, just kind of take me through how that all came. That nigga together. Sean had called out this nigga named Bosco from California. Bosco 100, right? Yeah, he called out this nigga Bosco. I don't know what happened with the, with him and Bosco. I don't know. Nigga Bosco said the bag wasn't big enough or whatever. I don't know. But he backed out the shit. The other nigga name, I don't even know the other fool name, but he backed out the shit too. But it was like 10 days until the fight was about to happen. So they called me with the contract on the table. Like, look, you want to sign this or not? This is how this shit came. Like, look, they got 20 Gs. What you want to do? I'm shit. Come on. Fight? Come on. <laughs> you profit less than that, right? You feel me? Like, come on, bro. Let's do it. Like, I ain't tripping. We go out there and shit. We was in uh, Vegas when, when we got the call. I was already in Vegas. Ironically, I was already in Vegas. So once I got that call, I went straight to Mayweather Gym. I went straight to Mayweather Gym. I go to Mayweather Gym. Mayweather see me in there and starts fucking with me. He say, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why you fighting? He was asking me why I'm fighting Sean. I was like, oh, shit. He, nigga just called me out. Right, shit, it's just in the air. You know what I'm saying? He like, you ain't got no beef in there. I'm like, man, I'm fighting for the cause. Like, so I kept on talking to him and shit. He was like, you want to spar? <laughs> I'm like, shit, come on. Shit, put somebody in there with me. I ain't tripping. Let's do it. You know what I'm saying? And it went from there. But he seen I had heart. A lot of niggas he asked to spar, they didn't want to spar. I seen this with my own two eyes at the gym. Hey, put your gear on. We're going to get you somebody to fight. I seen it. I ain't got no mouthpiece. I, ain't, I did that shit with no mouthpiece. I ain't complaining. And guess what Floyd said to them niggas when we, he kept saying, I ain't got no mouthpiece. He found me and said, hey, 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 did you have a mouthpiece when you? These true stories, I'm telling you, my nigga. I ain't lying by name. Did, did you have a mouthpiece? I'm hell nah. I'm whatever y'all gave me. That man, I ain't got no mouthpiece. What you talking about? This, this the gym. This yeah. in the boxing gym. It, it, it's hard. It's hard in the gym, for real. But yeah, I went straight to the gym with Florida and them. So you only shit. had you only had ten days. Only ten thing. days. I started smoking the same day. I started smoking for twelve days. <laughs> I'm running. I'm running. I'm getting my shit together because I ain't never been in a real. This was a real sanctioned boxing yeah. match, bro. I ain't never been in a ring. This shit was on pay per view, my nigga. And that's a different. I don't think people realize a lot of times. You know how different it is to be a boxing different. match. It's a whole different everything. You thinking them little minis ain't nothing. Them hoes are everything. It seemed like they are hours in there, bro. Like I ain't never done it, and so I had to get ring conditioned. Yeah, I had to do ring conditions, so, and Floyd them put me through that shit. And so once I did the, uh, once I stopped smoking and started running and getting my body together, in them little twelve days, it was like. I'm ready, shit. Nigga, I'm a boxer now. Nigga, I'm finna go on pay per view. Nigga, they paying thirty dollars to see this shit. Nigga, it's a fight party on all across the town. Oh, it's up. It's up. It was a big deal. It ain't fake. So I was like, yeah, that 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 did something to me. That made me go from. You know what I'm saying? Hey. I went from. And I won. And I won good. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. When I yeah, get it's, out, hard, it's hard to stop the fight with headgear on this. You feel me? You feel me? Like, shit, I want good. So, nigga, um, that right there made the people fuck with me a little bit more because a lot of people don't even like bloggers or whatever. They ain't like Sean. A lot of rappers don't like Sean or whatever they reason with Sean, whatever they got with, bro. Because the, the site or what he posts or whatever, you feel me? Trust me so, I get it. for the streets and shit, them niggas was loving me. They was like, yo, that nigga got that nigga. That shit was good. like the street niggas, they was loving me for that shit. Yeah, bro, that nigga posted. Da, da, da. Like, so, you feel me? Like, that shit did some real good shit for me, bro, for real. For sure, for sure. You, We running it back or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We running it back. We looking for a new opponent and some more money, though. Oh, okay. Not Sean. Nah, not Sean. Okay. Sean said he wanted a rematch, yeah, that's though. that's what I thought. Sean did say he wanted a rematch. We might be running that back in Houston, me and Sean. But we trying to get a bigger bag, too. But you want to stay in the, the boxing? Yeah, game? yeah, for sure. For sure. See, I'm connected. The boxing shit keeps me connected to Florida, yeah. ironically, real shit. I just seen Florida and Vegas for Super Bowl weekend. And the first thing that nigga did when he seen me, he said, you back on them backwoods, huh? <laughs> That's the first thing he said when he see me, bro. You back on the back of it, gave me a hug and shit, he fucked with me and shit, but that keep me connected to him. I ain't got to do nothing, but he gonna, I, I got connections to shit that's, you feel me? Yeah. Real shit.
For sure. And that's a you know, that's a huge thing right that's now. That's super duper. Celebrity boxing. That's it? super duper right now. Yeah. That's why I gotta stay on it. I gotta get back on it. What you get back about, in it? Uh, what you think about uh, Mike Tyson's fighting is he is he fighting Jake or uh, He fighting Logan? Jake, bro. Jake, Jake is the legend killer, bro. Yeah. Jake the legend killer, bro. I don't care what nobody say. Jake, the, he the legend killer. That nigga Mike, oh, bro, he iron Mike. I don't know, bro. Jake, I, hey, bro, Mike better be careful, bro. Jake ain't no hoe in there. Jake the legend killer. This shit what it is. Okay, he did it five times. We seen him. Bah! He fucking shit up. We seen it. I mean, so I'm, I'm scared for Mike. Go on. Ben Askren is different. I don't care how old Mike is. I'm like, I don't know, man. Man, this Mike, bro. This nigga Jake been slaying niggas. I'm talking yeah. about. Bah! Bah! I'm talking about. He, he been knocking shit down. Like, like I don't know, bro. I'm, I'm nervous for Mike, bro. I don't want that nigga to hurt Mike. <laughs> Mike, get it that way. Yeah. I don't know, though. Yeah, but I, I, I hope them niggas have a good fight, bro. For sure. So, um,. I want to get into, you know, just kind of the, obviously we're out of Oklahoma, so kind of, you know, TSF has a lot of, a uh, lot of ties to OKC. Nah, for sure, we got my nigga GQ out here, right. you know what I'm saying? We got uh, one of the little homies off Sunny Lanes, he locked up, free little Brody. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I bro. forgot my nigga name, bro. I ain't forget your name, nigga. Free little Magic, nigga, Sunny Lanes, bro. First gen, uh, motherfucking me. We got a lot of connections over here through GQ and other little people and shit. So the sauce is the sauce Star do too, right? I mean, start life, yeah. But yeah. I, he be he ain't in Oklahoma. He was over there in, in, in Vegas and oh, shit. Man. But he from Oklahoma though. Start yeah. life a hundred percent. But I was thinking of him as that Vegas, way. Yeah. But uh, we got a real um, home base towards the Oklahoma side. You feel me? This way we got my nigga Smoothie be this way a lot of times. You know Smoothie. Mm -mm. TSF Smoothie, he I always know. out here, he a country boy, he always this way, he be out here because we got a lot of people that's plugged in with the with the growers out here and shit too, like, so the Oklahoma and Texas connection strong with the sauce and like TSF and shit, we got a lot of people that's in the sauce that y'all might not even know about that don't really be rapping and doing other little shit, they just sauce members and shit, you feel me, but they from Oklahoma. For sure, so um, what do you think about, like, it kind of feels to me like, Texas is having a like a, a comeback right now. It's a, it's a pop off. Um, yeah, I mean, we, uh, y'all are doing them. You know, Dallas is going crazy too. Like just okay. Texas is doing uh, Dallas going. Hey, Dallas going crazy, crazy. And they seven hundred Montana. Nah, they ain't got Houston, but they going crazy though. They going crazy. We got OT going stupid nuts right now. D Baby going stupid nuts right now. That's just on that side. We got little Jeremy nigga. We nah, they ain't nah. Dallas ain't, ain't ain't there, but they going crazy, bro. They going crazy. Big X going crazy. I, shh, niggas better look that boy numbers up. That nigga going crazy. But all them niggas from Dallas going, they looking good than a motherfucker right now for Texas, for real. But uh, Houston scene, we got a whole different little old. Man, I was shit. I, the shit they doing. The, the people we talking, X, X on his own, like, yeah. we ain't talking about X. He ain't in what I'm talking about. But the rest of the niggas that we talking about that I see and that is that's doing that shit and shit, they, they on the way to where the Houston niggas at. They on their way to that. And we got to branch that, though, and help lift them niggas up. And, you know what I'm saying? Not X. Yeah. But the other little niggas and shit, the other niggas, I'm saying, they got to get to that point. That hasn't all, I mean, even, like... North and south side of Houston hasn't always been, you know what I mean, easy to do that. So, I mean, what do you think that takes to, you know, kind of... It takes a support. It takes support just from Texas, bro. It takes Texas support. We need motherfucking me, uh, motherfucking me, South Walker, Peso, Peso, Wood, OT, Big X, motherfucking me, whoever else after that. On they side, we need them songs. We need them kind of songs to be getting in rotation. We need them videos. People need to see them connections happening. Oh, that's going to be boosting it up. Because when my niggas come fuck with your niggas, and me and you fucking around, bro, and bro right here might build a connection stronger than ours, you feel me? And they fucking around every day. We just fucked around them a couple times, bro. Them got their own little, little, little. 
That's how this shit be, you feel me? That's how connections happen. By b bumping into niggas side by side. Well, it's bumping into this, being around. And for the Texas scene, like Dallas and all this shit that's going on, that's a big major. Because we got to put Texas on top, bro. In our eyes. You feel me? For sure. So I, I hate to, you know, go straight to the other side. But just timing wise, you know, uh, Future dropped Friday. This is Monday. So I just want to get your thoughts on, you know, the... It, I mean, that's the, the hottest thing in rap right now. The, they're calling it the Civil War. Everybody's they calling you know, it the Civil side. War, bro. What do you think about the whole situation? Uh, bro, you know, ain't that. I'm South. I'm South. You feel me? Like, they got that. They, but if I had to drop my opinion on anything or any kind of way, I would drop with Drake because he a second bread Houstonian. He a Houston nigga, but like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I would never be able to go against him if I was in that realm of like, but they shit been turned up. That nigga Kendrick ain't bullshit. Drake just dropped some shit too, not too long ago I heard. Yeah. I heard some shit he said, but they they got it fired up right now. They got it all the way fired up, but South don't really be entertaining shit like that. For sure. So um, I know you dropped the dropped the project in uh, October, yeah. right? So yeah. that's what went in um, I mean, just kind of talk about the, the reception and, you know, kind of keep growing from, from where you've been. Um, I'm getting mad. Um, I'm getting mad at love off of that. I'm getting mad at love off of, off of my tape, off of my project. I got a Texas Boys video at like 250000 It's like at 250000 I need y'all to help me get to, to M Texas Boys. That's me, CJ Casino and Walt. Um, that's one of the videos off that project. That's 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 going crazy right now. Um, I got uh, it's another video I just shot the Southwood winning video. I just shot that. Uh, that's going crazy. I need to get that to him. It's like at a hundred and some k in like a month and a half. All organic views. So uh, I see the receptions that I'm getting back from my music and shit because when I go places, people saying some balls and saying certain little shit about the songs. You feel me? So that shit did good for me. So I'm already gearing up for another tape anyway. I already got it already ready to go. So I just dropped a single about two, three days ago. It's called What It Is, What It Ain't. Y'all get up on that shit. But uh, that's where I'm at with it. I'm off my tape. I'm still getting videos put out off of my tape. And I'm still working on dropping more tapes around it. I did drop a collab tape with my nigga Zay. I dropped a collab tape with my niggas eight in the midst of all this too. So I'm I'm working while working at all times, you feel me? I got videos coming out. I got a lot of shit. Y'all stay tuned, get ahead of it. It's on the way for sure. For sure. And you said something that's that's important. I don't think people understand, you know. Five hundred K organic views is different. Organic. Than See, we know when it's not organic, bro, because... We, me and you, do, you know, people... Yeah, yo, yo, yeah, we know. Though, but, I can't, I, but, we know when it's not organic, yeah. you feel me? But I know when it, it when it's played with, but, you know, we know. Yeah. And we're going to keep that, like, we're going to keep that like that, but we know. But organic, you yeah. feel me? I'm all organic views, you feel me? So that says a lot for itself. Is it, that, is it ever tempting to, you know, let me go put 100000 on and make it look good, you know? Nah, bro, because, look. This is how I look at it. This, this, this is me, honestly, bro. Any video with a million views, they gonna know it. When it, when it come on, they know it. Some, they gonna know it. They gonna know that song. Some of these songs with them views, never heard these songs, bro. They unheard of. I, uh, don't know about it. They ain't giving what you trying to show me. The report card ain't, I can look up the, Oh, okay, okay, yeah. I know why, okay. <laughs> that's why, yeah. but all right. But some niggas take their best shit and do that, and they'll, and they'll fool you, because you, you oh, that song's stupid. That, uh, it sound like you're supposed to have two million views with it, yeah. They'll fool you, so it get tricky with the, you know the move, you feel me? It get tricky with the move, you feel me? So you got to watch these niggas, but that's why I had to put organic out there. Because soon as I said that, you chopped it up, and motherfucker going to be like, See, niggas probably be paying for the views anyway. Nah, I got to put that organic on there so a nigga got to knock that out for they brain off the rip. And that's why I wanted to make sure we double back to it. But Real um, nigga. I know you said uh, you, you got videos you just filmed, um, you know, another project on the way. You got dates for anything, anything in particular we need to, to be on the lookout for right now? Um, yeah, um. That you can tell me at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm finna give it to you now. I got a... Uh, 
Oh, I got the video to uh, what it is, what it ain't. We finna shoot that video next. Oh, that's April. We shooting that in April. We shooting that April 5th. Y'all be on the lookout. What it is, what it ain't. Single. I just dropped it. It's fresh out the oven. It's banging. It's going up. Go get with it. And I'm finna put this, uh, I'm putting a tape together on a different kind of sound of beats, like West Coast type, like a different vibe from anything in my way, you feel me? Okay. What, what inspired that? Um, what inspired that was working with uh, different producers, working with different producers, you feel me? Everybody ain't got relationships with producers. They just got the beat side. Nah, send me some beats. I got a real relationship. But I'm working with producers and I'm just rapping on some of his shit and it's sounding a little better than some of the other shit I'm rapping on. I mean, you only being, you know, four or five years in the game, you see, yeah. You feel me? So I, Still I got time to try shit out. And, yeah. I'm hearing it, you feel me? And when I try it, it's sounding like I need to keep trying it, you feel me? So I, that's what made me keep going in that direction. I got that shit loaded up. I'm from, bah! Cock that shit. Bow! It's gonna hit. You gonna hear it, bro? For sure, for sure. Well, yeah. Looking forward to it. Appreciate you taking time to you know. Nah, sit down most definitely, most definitely. You, know, you gotta get out and you know. Yeah, uh, it's show love, everybody, bro. You know the the it's love. and everything, but um, like I said, I appreciate you, bro. You it ain't nothing but love, here. man. I tapped in with y'all boys, no doubt. and y'all tapped in with me. Y'all showed me love. I'm showing it back. OKC four oh five. Y'all get next to me. Southwood winning always in your area. Showing love. If you see me, show me something back, man.